I'm about to share with you the most exciting app that YouTube has released to date. The latest YouTube app is called YouTube Create. Why is this so exciting? Well, if you're a video editor, especially short form video editing, you're going to be super excited about this because it's the most robust video editor for your mobile device that I've seen to date, especially if you're looking for a free version for video editing. And it's only available for a select group of individuals, which I will talk about at the end of this video. Why is this so exciting? I'm actually gonna walk you through a demo of all the features that are available and why you should tune in. I guarantee there's gonna be one thing in particular that you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about and use. So let's go ahead and jump in. Once you've created your account, it's time to start a new project. Go ahead and choose either a video or a photo and import it into the project. Once it's imported, you can see all the options available for editing and then also for each of the clips. First, we're gonna take a look at adding a transition and all the different options that are available for that. Next, we're gonna take a look at how to clip and create segments and then how to add transitions that way as well. Now let's take a look at how to do overlays and you can see you can make modifications on top of your video as easily as moving things around, resizing and also changing the length of a clip. Next, you can add filters and you can see all the options available for that. Next are the effects and you can add all kinds of different effects. You can also adjust your clips and add animations. Now we can show how we can do different overlays and show different layers and how easy it is to select each of the layers and edit accordingly. So we're going to add another image on top of this clip. And now you can see there are two different layers here and they're very easy to select. Now let's look at adding text and you can see here that you can add your text super simple by using your keyboard. And now you can edit the text, change your style, your font. There's a wide variety of font styles to choose from. You can change the color. You can change the background color. and you can change the formatting of it. Even add an outline or shadow. Finally, you can add animation, which just adds an extra flair. Next, you can add stickers, you can add GIFs, and you can even add Bitmojis. Next, you can add sound, which is audio or music, sound effects, or if you have your own music, you can import that as well and use it. It's important to note here that all of this is copyrighted, so you won't take any chances on being banned or get a copyright strike on anything that you use within YouTube as long as you post it to YouTube. And you can see how it's added as an extra layer. You can change the length or duration of any music that you add and there are effects that you can add to your music layer as well. Find Beats is a unique feature in the YouTube Create app that will allow you to time your video to the certain beats in music that you've added. Next, you can add a voiceover to any video or photo that you've included in your project. So if you wanna add notes or make any changes to a video, you can do that as simple as this. Lastly, you can add captions. There are multiple languages available as well as choosing whether you want captions to be added just to your video and or your voiceover. When you're done, you can export your video and change the aspect ratio to accommodate where you're gonna be publishing it. You can also export it into 1080p or 720p, depending on the quality that you want. Then you can share it directly to YouTube, whether it's a short or a regular video.
I mentioned at the beginning of this video that there was something I wanted you to wait around for till the end. The one thing I do want to mention, actually two things. The first thing I want to mention is that this is currently in beta and only available for Android users. So if you're a iOS user, this isn't available for you and they're not saying yet when it's available, but I will link a video up here where the Think Media team is doing an interview with one of the developers and she, she is amazing. The second thing I wanted to mention is that YouTube Create is not yet available for desktop. I know that question's gonna come up and it's not yet available. So if you want to use it to edit your horizontal or YouTube videos, you'll need to do that from your mobile device. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video next because it's the interview that the Think Media team did with the main developer of YouTube Create. Until next time, make today great.